Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we'll be doing some of Spooktober 2021. Uh, what this episode is going to be on is dealing with Bigfoot or the Bigfoot bipedal creatures that are so often seen that there's so many tales about. I mean, Bigfoot himself actually goes well back to before the 1950s when you have the infamous uh, sightings in California and, of course, the Patterson-Gimley footage. We actually know of for a fact that um, if you read on Wikipedia here for looking up Bigfoot, um, under history it says on the Tule River Indian Reservation in California, petroglyphs created by a group of Yokuts at a site called Painted Rock are alleged to depict a group of Bigfoots called the Family. The local tribes people call the largest of the glyphs Hairy Man, and they are estimated to be between 500 and 1,000 years old. Still don't prove a lot, but it, it's an interesting piece of knowledge. Um, if you read further, you have, um, uh, members of the Lumi tell tells about Seimikwes, the local version of Bigfoot. The stories are similar to each other in the general description of Seimikwes, but details differed among various family accounts concerning the creature's diet and activities. Um, you read a little further down, the Iroquois tell of an aggressive hair-covered giant with rock-hard skin known as the Otneyahe, or Stone Giant, more commonly referred to as the Ginnoska, or Ginnosqua. And in 1847, Paul Kane reported stories by the natives about Skookums, a race of cannibalistic wild men living on the peak of Mount St. Helens in southern Washington state. So, the history goes really far back. There was even, in a a uh, book wit written by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1893 called The Wilderness Hunter. He tells a story he was told by an elderly mountain man uh, about a, quote, foul-smelling bipedal creature that ransacked his beaver tramping trapping camp stalked him and later became hostile when it fatally broke his companion's neck in the wilderness near the uh, Idaho and Montana border. And Roosevelt even notes in his book that the elderly mountain man appeared fearful when telling the story.
So yeah, there are numerous sightings of some bipedal ape-like creature that goes way back. Even if you look outside the U.S., the Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman to some people, has been around for a long, long time. Um, in 1832, Jane Princeps, this is off the Wikipedia article on the Yeti, 1832, Jane Princeps, James Princeps, Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal, published tracker B.H. Hodgson's account of his experiences in northern Nepal. His local guides spotted a tall, bipedal creature covered with long, dark hair, which seemed to flee in fear. Hodgson himself concluded it may have been an orangutan. <coughs> But yeah, these sightings go worldwide. You have multiple names for the different creatures. Uh, Sasquatch, of cor course, is out of Canada, but it is often used a lot in America now. Bigfoot, of course, an American name that comes from the tracks it left behind. The Yeti in Nepal in the Him Himalayan mountains. The Yowie in Australia. Indonesia has the Orang Pendak. I know there's also the Almasti in Russia. And the Yaren in um, China. But then I have a map I was able to find and pull up. And it shows what are supposed to be sightings of Bigfoot-like creatures. In the frozen waste of Greenland, uh, they talk about Homo gardarensis, gardarensis. Um, they say they were the name mistakenly given to partial remains found in uh, in a burial at Garter, Greenland, in the 12th century Norse settlement. Um, but some people believe that it actually may have been an actual creature, despite uh, many saying that it was not. Especially when you get into the cryptozoology um, area. So, let's see. What else do we have here on the map? Alaska, you have the Urayuli. Um, apparently something known by the Yupik people of southwest Alaska, but the Ura Yuli. 
Uh, also in Alaska, bordering on Canada, is the Kushtaka. Uh, They have this one I kind of disagree with. They put the Wendigo in. It's not really Bigfoot. Um, in fact, the legend says you don't become um, a Wendigo unless you are drawn in by the hunger the, 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 that the winner um, inspires to, it, until it inspires you to do something horrible. Uh, let's see. In the US, they've got um, Mogolian or the Mogolon monster. Which appears to have been in Arizona. Um. Hmm. We have the Walking Sam in South Dakota. Uh, the Minnesota Iceman in Minneapolis. The monstrous wild man in the Mark Twain National Forest on the Arkansas-Missouri line. The Falk Monster in uh, Falk, Arkansas. The Skunk Ape in Lake City, Florida. The Cajun Sasquatch of Louisiana. The Grassman of Ohio. Uh, the awesome monster in eastern Virginia. And even here in the mountains uh, where I live, we have a name for it called the wood booger. Um, but yeah. Uh, but then they have sightings in other countries. Nicaragua. Um, Puerto Rico, Guyana, Brazil and Bolivia, Argentina, South Africa, uh, Portuguese East Africa, it says, which... Is right around Somalia, Ethiopia, that area. Um, Ben McDewey of Scotland. Canterbury in England. Andalusia, Spain. Elbus, Russia. Uh, the Russian West Caucasus, Afghan, pa uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, 
New Delhi. Nepal, Tibet, Nepal, Tibet, Bangladesh and India, uh, come on, Siberia, Hmm. Uh, Hiroshima, Japan. Hubei, China. Central China. Shinanongjia, China. Vietnam. Yeah, just there's still more to go through here. Just showing you that there are so many sightings. It is the world over. It's not just an American thing. Numerous names from numerous civilizations. What causes this? Is this a reaction in the human condition somehow that we see this gigantic bipedal ape-like form? Is it a mass delusion? Or is there something out there? We do not know. Of anything. When you want to talk about the paranormal, Bigfoot is a real plausibility. Something you have to give some consideration to, just because there is a good likelihood of something like that actually existing. I'll go ahead and list these links in the description below the video, but as always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing. Ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then. Later.